frustration, outrage, heartbreak. You thought Cristiano Ronaldo had anger management issues at Manchester United, but it just might be an across-the-board problem, and it was on display last night. So let's find out why in heaven's name did Anthony outright insult his captain Bruno Fernandes. Manchester United's nine-game win streak ended with a heartbreak, as the Red Devils dropped two crucial points against Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park last night. Despite a great team goal by Man United and the stunning free kick that tied the game at the last minute, the moment that stole the headlines had nothing to do with any of this. Because just before the half hour mark, when Manchester United were on the attack, a not so endearing exchange took place between Anthony and Bruno Fernandes. As the Brazilian misplaced a pass that ended up as a goal kick, the Portuguese was frustrated. And as he usually does, he let his emotions show. Now, no one knows whether the captain expected a response or not, but he probably didn't see what was coming back from Anthony as he was flailing his arms up in the air to show his annoyance. Anthony, a young man who grew up in a favela which is literally called the Little Hell, mind you, responded to his captain by calling him a mother trucker. We all know what he would say if Cristiano Ronaldo was still there, don't we? The exchange was immediately picked up by the crowd, and for a few minutes, this war of not-so-kind words led to ironic jeers from Crystal Palace fans. Just before the break, though, the two youngsters came together in joy as Bruno Fernandes broke the deadlock in style. Even though he was a bit late to join the celebrations, Anthony got together with his teammates and kinda made up with Fernandes. Despite their efforts, both teams looked like they were not capable of producing another goal in the second half. As the Red Devils were thinking that they were inching closer to Arsenal at the top of the league and surpassing their arch-rivals by securing the crucial three points, the bad news came in the form of a well-struck free kick. Michael Olesay's stunner tied the game and as Crystal Palace fans were reeling with joy, United fans were all worked up by the extremely small wall David De Gea set up. Fans and pundits alike criticized the Spaniard, but it was all too late. The heated exchange between Fernandes and Anthony and the last-minute goal that could have been avoided were all disheartening for Man United fans. But probably the most annoying thing they had to witness was Casemiro's yellow card, as picking up the caution meant that the Brazilian midfield maestro will be missing the vital clash between United and Arsenal. The whole evening was eventful for Casemiro, as he was involved in a selfie with a pitch invader just before the R mark too. This is not confirmed by any reliable source or anything, so don't go coding us on that, but some say that Mikel Arteta and the entire Gunners dugout were watching the game with huge smiles on their faces. Manchester United came so close to a 10-game winning streak since Sir Alex Ferguson's departure, but failed at the last minute. Do you think the Red Devils are still in for the title race, or do you think they still need more time? Be sure to let us know. If you think Anthony's response to Bruno Fernandes was harsh, that means you don't really know the Brazilian. Check out this video for another savage moment from United's youngster as he settles the GOAT debate between Leo Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. As always, thanks for watching.